This is actually a very large bell pepper compared to the size of my hands. Look at how huge it is. It's ginormous. All right, so this is our top of our bell pepper and our bottom. We're actually gonna lay this on its side, take a hold of our knife with the pinch grip, thumb, finger, the rest of our fingers curled under the handle. Nice control. And we're going to curl our guide hand under so we don't cut ourselves. We're gonna make one cut straight to the board, just the top of it. And we're going to flip this pepper around and make a parallel cut off the bottom, a little bit in, and we're going to create a flat surface. A flat surface is a safe surface. So we take one of these air pockets you see here, and we're going to use the tip of our knife, and we're going to cut straight down to the board. And you'll see why here. We then knock over our bell pepper, slide this knife right inside of that cut, and slowly saw around the bell pepper, removing the ribs and the seed pocket all in one motion. Now, this one actually um, fell right apart at the end, so it pops right off, boop. Now we have this little problem of these ribs and seeds. So I make a little small cut and use the tip of my knife to cut away from myself being safe and remove that. And the rest of the pepper I cut into manageable pieces for the rest of my knife cuts. Dice, slice, whatever. I'm gonna make them a nice size for my hand. Now, we wanna make sure we don't have skin side down. We wanna put the flesh side down. That makes it easier to grip on the board and have more traction. And doing our down, forward, up, back motion, we are slicing right through our bell pepper with our guide hand nails tucked under nice and safe. Slide those to the side. Now, what about the ends, you say? You're gonna treat those the same way as you did the sides of the bell pepper. Just a nice, smooth, rough slice all the way through. And that top you see, go ahead and remove the stem, no matter what size it is, and pretend there is no hole. It is okay if you have some pieces of bell pepper that are not quite the same size when it comes to this. Don't let people judge you in your kitchen. And we safely remove those from our board. Now, let's go ahead and do a diced bell pepper. Starts off with the same motion, pinch grip, grabbing onto our uh, handle of our knife, tucking our nails under, nice smooth cuts into strips, and then we make these into a nice little matchstick pile that is manageable for our hands. We tuck our nails under, and what I like to do is bat them right against the knife to make sure they're nice and even, and we do our dice. Keeping an eye on all of those matchsticks all tucked tight together into little tiny squares. And there you go. Remember, do not use your knife to scoop up. Have a little bench scrape on the side so you can stay safe. And that is how you cut a bell pepper.